Hi everyone, welcome to Eve Math Tutoring. Today's lesson is going to be on multiplying and dividing sign numbers. So in mathematics, if you're multiplying two positive numbers, your final answer is always going to be positive. If you're multiplying positive by a negative, you're going to get a negative. If you're multiplying a negative by a positive, you're going to get a negative. If you're multiplying a negative by a negative, you're going to get a positive. Okay, and a quick way to remember this is that if you're multiplying two numbers with the same sign, then you actually end up with a positive answer. And if you're multiplying two numbers with a different sign, you end up with a negative. Okay, and the same thing holds for division. So in division, if we're dividing a positive by a positive, we end up with a positive. If we divide a positive by a negative, we end up with a negative. If we divide a negative by a positive, we end up with a negative. And if we divide a negative by a negative, we end up with a positive. So if you're dividing two uh, signs that are two numbers that have the same sign, you end up with a positive. And if you're dividing two numbers with different signs, then you end up with a negative answer. Okay? So that's how you would multiply and divide sign numbers. And we can actually try some examples. So some examples we could try. So if we were doing, say, positive 3 times positive 4. So in this case, whenever we have a positive, we don't write the number in, uh, the sign in front. So in this case, you have two positives, so your answer is going to be positive 12. So if we had negative 3 times positive 4, that would be negative 12. If we had positive 3 times negative 4, that would be negative 12. Again, if we had negative 3 times negative 4, the answer would be positive 12. Okay? Now, if you had an odd number of, of values, so say you had negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 1. So in this case, when you have an odd number of negatives, these two cancel. However, in the final one, you're left with this. So the negative carries over, and you end up with 12. Okay, so you had negative 3 times positive 4 times negative 1. Well, even though this is a positive, these two negatives are still going to cancel. So you actually, in this case, still end up with positive. Okay. So when you're looking at negatives, if you are multiplying, actually let's do one more example. Say you were doing negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 1 times, so let's do uh, an even number of negatives. So in this case, the two negatives cancel, and same thing here, so again you end up with positive. Okay, and a quick rule to remember this could be, if you're multiplying an odd number of negatives, then that's going to give you a negative. But if you have an even number of negatives that you're multiplying, then you're going to end up with a positive. Okay. Now, say we're doing, say we're doing uh, division. So division, 3 divided by, say, 1 is just going to give us 3. Positive divided by positive. Positive divided by negative is going to be negative. And negative divided by positive is going to be negative. And then finally, a negative 3 divided by negative 1 is going to give positive 3. Okay? So in this case, say we're doing, oops, So say we're doing 3, like if we have negatives, 3 divided by negative 1 divided, oops, divided again by negative 1. So if you have a negative 3 divided by negative 1, so your, your final answer is still going to be negative because these two cancel, but that negative carries over here. Now what if we had an even number of negatives that we were dividing? In that case, if we have an even number, then we just end up with positive 3. Okay, the, the negatives cancel. Or if this one in the middle was positive, and these two were negative, then we would just end up with a, a positive 3 in that case, right? So you have to really see how many odds and evens you're looking at. And um, a quick way to remember is if you have like an odd number of negatives that you're dividing, 
right? Then your final answer is going to be negative. And if you have an even number of negatives that you're dividing, then your final answer is going to be positive, okay? So that's multiplying and dividing sign numbers. So those are the rules to remember. If you can remember those base rules, you can really do any question with multiplying and dividing uh, positive and negative numbers. So if you have any other questions, feel free to email me at evemathtutoring at outlook.com or you can post questions on the channel page as well.